Hi everyone, it's Wednesday, um, December the 6th, 2023, and I have words of the Lord from this morning and from um, May, the si May the 6th. I'm just going to say a quick prayer and get started. Thank you, Father, for this day, Lord Jesus. Guide Thank you for your guidance and your direction. Thank you for pouring out your spirit on all of your children, Father God. I pray for those that are coming to this channel. I pray that you pour your spirit out on them, Father God that you are giving them revelation, open up their eyes, their ears, and their hearts, Father God, that they would seek you, know you, love you, want you, and serve you all the days of their life, Father God. I pray for their homes, their, their family, their children, their jobs, their coming and their going. Father God, I plead the blood of Jesus over them, and I pray no weapon formed against us shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for everybody that comes to this channel, whether they know you or not, Lord Jesus, I pray for their their hearts, Lord, that they would, this this would be a seed for them in the name of Jesus and that they would crave your word more than anything else in this in this world. In your mighty name, I love you, Lord, and I thank you, Jesus. Amen. Okay, um, this is going to be December the 6th, 2023. Hear, hear my words, child. Victory is yours. I came that my own would be set free. For the lost to be set free from the evil ones and their ways. We walk in victory. Tell them, child, my ways are higher, grander. Seek first the kingdom. Repent and be set free. Be not of this world, but be set free. I am the great I am, the one who was, who is, and will be forevermore. The king of the Jews, be set free, my loves. I came to set the captives free. Greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. My ways are higher. You cannot phantom the, my ways. Want my will. Be called. Pick up that mantle. Be a harvester. Do not be the harvest. Walk the walk. Now is that time. No more time to play in the world. It is not for you, but against you. With, dist with distractions after distraction, I came, lived as a mortal, sacrificed and shed my blood for you the called the lost my ways are not your ways i gave the ultimate sacrifice that you would be set free be free choose life choose me your abba the love of your life the one who gave it all at the cross pick up your cross i want i want not one to perish not one but sadly many will be so lost they chose this dead world it is all a facade, a fake world to keep you bound. Want me, want life, choose freedom. Here I am to worship. I'm your God, your Abba, your your King, your King. Call on me. I am a prayer away. Who do you say that I am? Do you know me? Do you seek? Do you seek me day and night? Time no more. Get your hearts right now. Time is up. The end is here. Do, do not be left in the trenches of what is to come. Get under the shadow of my wings. I will take care of my own. Faith of a mustard seed. No me, no peace. From glory to glory, I will make my I will make myself known. We are entering a time unlike never before, and I will make myself known. Miracles, signs, and wonders. You won't believe your eyes. Be. But, oh, believe it will be, but, uh, sorry, let me read that. I can't write, um, read my writing sometimes. I'm going to just back it up a little. I, I will make myself known. Miracles, signs, and wonders. You won't believe your eyes, but, oh, believe it will be me. Nothing is impossible. Ask, and you shall receive. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it will be open to you. Oh, how I love my own. Be my own. Choose me. Choose life everlasting. I am the way, the truth, and life. Apart from me, you can do nothing. I am the true Messiah. Yeshua, Jesus the Christ. I am that I am. The lover of your soul. My ways are higher, grander. Come all ye faithful. And that was the message from this morning. All of the... um. The scripture will be in the description, and this is May the 6th. Daughter, speak my words, my way, my will, in all things big and small. Who do, 
Who do they say I am? Who do you say I am? I am Abba, Father, your beginning and your end of each day. Who seeks day and night? My chosen ones who picked up the mantle. Chosen victory in chaos. In the, in the name of Jesus, who chose me? I choose a mighty army, a royal priesthood. You did not choose me, but I set you apart from, be, from before birth, and I took care of my own. Line of David, the Lion of Jude, the Lion of Judah, a royal priesthood, made to stand out, not to fit in, chosen for such a time as this, my chosen generation, for such a time as this. I groomed my own. I waited in the trenches. Healed the hearts and the hurts of this world. Opened up opportunities and made a way where there was no way. My doing, I always took care of my own. Even when you weren't walking properly. Knowing you already chose me. Your King of Kings. Your Lord of Lords. I know your yesterdays, todays, and tomorrows. My mighty warriors will prevail. They walk in victory. As I say, it is so. My own know my name and they follow me. I am the king of kings to my royal priesthood. Yeshua, Abba, the morning sun, your daily breath, King Jesus. I am that I am, the great I am. Come all ye faithful, I will give you rest. And that is it. And then um, I wrote a prayer here because this was really speaking to my heart. Because I know that he, no matter where I was in life, I can look back and know that he took care of me. He made opportunities that literally was a miracle. Um, he, Where he says, um, I took care of my own even when you weren't walking properly, completely he he opened opened up opportunities for me um that I didn't even qualify for i know this one time um when i was transitioning from um social services to the district attorney i worked in the county and um there's a transfer band um and i was trying to transfer out into a, a higher position and I guess I I don't know if I didn't realize that the trans the transfer ban was way ahead. I didn't realize it. I just applied for it, and um, it took three months to get into that job because I I needed to um, the HR HR was different. I needed to do a a background check. I needed to do a a, a, um, a credit check. There was a lot of things that they had to do because I was going from one to the next. So it took a good three months. So finally I interviewed, I got in, I, I got in and it took all that time to get actually working on, on, I, I applied in October by the time I started was in January. And on the first week, um, I worked one whole week and HR from social services called their HR, my boss. And my boss came in, send me an email and then she came in and, and talked to me they they found a mistake my application never should have gone through it it, it was it should have been impossible because the way that I applied it was all online and it it there was it was impossible to even apply so they said um I was gonna have to go back and she she was like no that's not happening it's their mistake um Sorry, my phone's shaking because my dog's right here. Um, she she's like, don't even worry about it. My husband, if anything, that's their mistake. My husband's an attorney, and I'm gonna take care of everything. Don't. It was on a Friday. I had already worked one whole week. Um, they she's like, go home, have a good weekend, come back on Monday, um, and it'll be figured out. And I came back on Monday, and. They figured out that they were just going to put me into a, a temporary position that was like one step above the net, the other one so that I would work one whole period, pay period, um, one step above, and then they would transition me to, to the other position. My application never should have gone through. But I know that 
I always knew that the Lord always took care of me. No matter what it was, I always knew to pray to him. Even though I didn't, I wasn't seeking him like I should have been. Um, I wasn't even going to church. Well, I think at that time I started going back to church. But I know that I was still in the world. Like I, I went to church. Going to church was like... It, I was like a, a Sunday Christian, a one hour Sunday Christian, because as soon as I left work, I mean, left church, I mean, I was still out in the world. There was, I, there was no change in me. I was not reborn like I, like I am now, like a born again Christian. Like we, sh we should be, we should be, um, repenting is not just saying, I'm sorry. And you're still doing it. Repenting means turning turning away from what your your um your sins you're striving you're trying with the lord you're reading your bible you're you're worshiping you're living for the lord um that's a born again christian um praying reading your bible uh, and i'm fasting because i want to be close to the lord i fast every week I, I can't remember the last time i didn't fast i fast monday through friday um because I'm seeking him. I, I want to hear from him. I want to, I want to be in relationship with him. He's seeking relationship with you. He wants to hear from you. And he said, if you abide in me, I can only abide in you. And if you guys want to hear from him, seek him wholeheartedly. If you have questions, take these messages back to him. If you have a question, pray to the lord he will open up your eyes he will show you he will give you confirmation in another message or in a word pick up the bible open it up i, re I remember when i first started coming to him i would pray and i was like lord am I, are you coming right now i literally opened the bible and it said i don't remember what where it was but it it said i am i come quickly or something like that it was that verse and I think I did it more than once. And I even did it in front of my son because I couldn't believe what I was hearing. <laughs> he will talk to you. If you seek him with all of your heart, he said, seek me and you will find me. He wants you. He's searching for you guys right now. He's, he's sending all of us out here to open up your eyes and ears and hearts. We're planting seeds. And maybe you won't believe right now. You, maybe you're not going to believe this message right now. Um, but one day... You're going to remember watching this video or something is going to tug your heart because that's how he works. He loves you and he's, he, he desperately is, he is pouring out his spirit to everybody. Even if you're, even the unbelievers, people are waking up from other doctrines, other religions, and they're waking up because they had a dream because Jesus came to them in dreams. He's coming to in dreams. I've had dreams with him. Um, he's just, he's everywhere. It, it's impossible to not believe him at this point for me. But um, sorry about the barking, guys. Anyways, I gotta go. God bless you guys. Boa. God bless you guys. Take these messages to the Lord. Have a good night.